Thank you. Jared, to wrap up, first thing I want to do is I'm going to factor, and then I'm going to multiply by dx on both sides. So that would be my first step. So I'll have dy is equal to a factor of nx, and I'm left with a 1 plus y squared times dx. I can divide by 1 plus y squared, so I have 1 over 1 plus y squared dy equals x dx. And again, looking at this, I don't have a quotient rule for anti-differentiation, right? So immediately, whenever I, see a whenever I see a denominator, I see like that squared, automatically I think of arc sine, arc cosine. And the antiderivative of this is going to be tan, uh, tan inverse. So it's going to be tan inverse. And therefore, uh, that's going to be plus c. So what did I write? Uh, right in there. Hmm, there you go. Yeah. Sorry. Just wanted to make sure I had. So I have tan inverse of y, because that's in terms of y. And then this is going to be 1 half x squared and then plus big C. Right? And now, here's the important, here's the one I want to get to. So again, pattern recognition. Make sure you guys recognize that. And then two, if we want to solve for y, we need to undo tan inverse. How do you undo tan inverse? You divide by tan inverse both sides? No. No, what about? Regular tan? Yeah, just regular tan, right? The normal tan. Just tan both sides. So therefore, you get y equals the tangent of 1 half x squared plus c. There you go. Good job.